Welcome to our story time, friends. So nice to see all of you today. So we are going to have a very noisy story time today. Sometimes we're going to be very loud and sometimes we might be quiet. So we're going to get started with bread and butter, maybe doing a bridge version because we've been running out of time to get to all of our books. So we want to get to that. So hands in your lap and clap. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Make your voice go down. Very nice. You want to help me count it down on the count of three. One, two, three. Hello. Very good. Now we're going to go up. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Are you ready on the count of three? One, two, three. Hello. Very nice. All right. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as shh, quietly as we can. This will be good practice. Are you ready? On the count of three, one, two, three, hello. Very nice. And you know what we're going to do next? And I want to hear you all. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. This is going to be a loud story time. So let's get warmed up right now. Are you ready? On the count of three, one, two, three, hello. Excellent. All right. Well, we're going to do it one more time as nicely as we can. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nicely as we can. Big smile and a wave on the count of three. One, two, three. Hello. And we're going to go straight to Miss Susie for some more quiet and loud. Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. The first book I want to share with you is called Quiet Loud by Leslie Patricelli, and it's published by Candlewick Press. Whispering is quiet. Screaming is loud. Crayons are quiet. Pots and pans are loud. Boom, bang. Fishies are quiet. Doggies are loud. <laughs> Thinking is quiet. Singing is loud. Snow is quiet. Rainstorms are loud. Right? With the thunder and the lightning. Slippers are quiet. Mommy's shoes are loud. Click, clack, click, clack. Sniffles are quiet. But sneezes are loud. Head, choo. Turtles are quiet. And monkeys are loud. <laughs> Birds are quiet, but airplanes are loud. My favorite libraries are quiet. Not always. <laughs> <laughs> but playgrounds are loud. Nap time is quiet. And playtime is loud. So more quiet things, pillows and bunnies and clouds and teddy bears, all quiet. What are some loud things? Drums and horns and fire trucks, tea kettles. Oh my goodness. All right, Miss Jess, what do you have for us? Thank you, Miss Susie. I love those Leslie Patricelli books. If you, if you would like more, come on down to the library. We always have some on the shelf for you. And now that we're experts of quietly and loud, you ready? Let's do a little, a little song. So what do we do when we want to be quiet? Put your finger up and cover your mouth. Quietly, quietly, not a sound. What do you do when you listen? I'm listening. 
I'm listening as I look around. No sounds as I nod. No sounds as I clap, clap quietly. Very good. And no sounds as I tap my hands on my lap. That was so quiet, but boy, was that boring. Who wants to be loud? Anyone? Yes, you ready? Loudly, loudly stamping, clap. Loudly, loudly stamping, clap. Loudly, loudly stamping, clap. All that noise. Well, fancy that. That was so loud. Let's do it quietly again. You ready? Shh. Quietly, quietly, not a sound. I'm listening and I'm listening as I look around. No sounds as I nod. No sounds as I clap. And no sounds as I tap my hands on my lap. That was too quiet. Who wants to be loud? Let's go. Loudly, loudly stepping, clap. Loudly, loudly stepping, clap. Loudly, loudly stepping, clap. All that noise. Well, fancy that. <laughs> Excellent job, everyone. Oh, Miss Leslie, what do you hear? I hear a lot of animals. <clears throat> they don't know how to be quiet. So this one's going to probably be loud. We're going to do Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? by the amazing team of Bill Martin Jr. and Eric Carl. All right. So I want to hear you all helping me make these sounds. Are you ready? Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? <sighs> I hear a, that's right, a lion growling in my ear. I'm sorry, roaring in my ear. Can you all roar? Roar. Very nice. Should we ask the lion who she hears? Lion, lion, what do you hear? I hear a hippopotamus snorting. <laughs> in my ear. Can you guys all snort like a hippo? Mm, wow. Sounds a little rude, but that's just the way hippos sound. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus. What do you hear? I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. Does anybody know what that would sound like? Hmm. Fruit. Fruit. Maybe. I've seen the flamingos at the zoo. I don't know that I've ever heard them. I'm going to listen next time. They sure are pretty. Let's ask the flamingo. Flamingo, flamingo, what do you hear? I hear a zebra braying in my ear. I think that sounds kind of like a horse, right? Bray! 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 Very nice. Zebra, zebra, what do you hear? Uh, I hear a boa constrictor hissing in my ear. Can you all hiss? All right, let's quickly ask this boa constrictor because I'm afraid of snakes and I want to turn the page. Boa constrictor, boa constrictor, what do you hear? I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. And I always say that we miss Miss Fran so much. She does the best elephant trumpet of all, but I'm going to try. Are you ready? All right. Good job, everybody. Elephant, elephant, what do you hear? I hear a leopard snarling in my ear. Can you all snarl like a leopard? That's right. Leopard, leopard, what do you hear? I hear a peacock yelping in my ear. I think this is kind of like the flamingo, although I have heard peacocks. Yelp! Yelp! Very nice. Look how beautiful. Peacock, peacock, what 
do you hear? I hear a walrus bellowing oh, yeah, yeah. in my ear. Can you guys bellow like a walrus? Oh, yeah. <coughs> That's not easy. Walrus, walrus, what do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. <whistles> zookeeper, zookeeper, what do you hear? Oh, I hear all of these children. They're growling like polar bears and roaring like lions and snorting like hippos. They're fluting like flamingos and braying like zebras, hissing like boa constrictors, trumpeting like elephants, snarling like leopards, yelping like peacocks, and bellowing like walruses. That's what I hear. Hmm. All right, and let's see. Miss Susie, what do you hear? Well, I have some quiet things and I have some loud things. I'm gonna hold some things up and you help me find out if they're quiet or loud. Okay, here's our first. What's that? It's a mouse. Is a mouse quiet or loud? It's quiet, right? Just goes squeak, 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 squeak. Okay, let's see what's next. The rooster! Is the rooster quiet or loud? Cockle doodle doo! That's right, the rooster is very loud and wakes everybody up. Okay, let's see. A cloud up in the sky? Is a cloud quiet or loud? Right, the clouds are very, very quiet. Look over here. Ooh. Okay, let's see. What's this? Is that a saxophone? Is a saxophone quiet or loud? Loud, right. So we're going to put it over here. Okay, let's see. Can you see? That's a raindrop. Is a raindrop quiet or loud? Well, it could go in either, either category, right? If there's lots of raindrops on the roof, it can sound very, very loud. But most of the time, it's just pitter-patter. Most of the time, raindrops are quiet. Okay, what do we have here? The garbage truck. Oh, that they dump the garbage in and they back up, beep, 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 honk. Garbage trucks are loud. I'm gonna put that over here. Okay, what's this? My orange sock? Well, I opened up my sock drawer the other day and I did hear some noise, but no, socks are quiet, right? We're gonna put, I actually have two because there's a pair of socks. Okay, last one, you ready? Choo, choo, chugga, 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 all aboard. That's right, trains are loud. Good job, everyone, thanks so much for your help. All right, Miss Jessica, you have something shout to shout about? <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to read this book to you. But first, I just have to make some quick announcements. Joanna, if you have joined us today, you have finished 300 books towards 1,000 books before kindergarten. Give a loud applause for Joanna. Woo! And Sabrina, you have finished 500 books. Let's go. Woo! Nice one. Grayson, 600 books towards a thousand books before kindergarten. Word. Keep on reading. You can email us at child at pwpl.org to get started or for your next booklet, or come on down to the library and we'll give you your next booklet or get you started. Okay. When I read a book, I try to be a little bit quiet, but this book you cannot be quiet for. You have to shout and shout it out. It's by Denise Fleming, 
We're going to review some things you may already know, your alphabet, your numbers, your animals. If you know it, shout it out. And I apologize for anyone sleeping and taking a nap in the house. This will not be quiet. You ready? Let's get started. Everybody loves to shout. So if you know it, shout it out. Ready, set, go. I'm going to point to it. You ready? Count along with me loudly. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh, you guys are so loud. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I've never heard such loud counting before. Shout, shout it out. Ready? Let's do our alphabet. Let's scream and shout it out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, my ears are hurting. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Oh, oh wow, this is so loud. Q, R, S, T, U, V. Let's not forget W, X. Y and Z. Woo, that was a loud alphabet. Shout, shout it out. Does anybody know their colors? I'm going to point. You shout out what color it is. You ready? What color is this? Red. Excellent. And what about this one? Blue. Oh, I can't hear you. You ready? Yellow. Woo, that was a loud color. What's next? Green and orange. Let's not forget to shout purple. Oh, wow, he's really shouting. What about our animals? Do you know your animals? Let's see. Oh, who could this little one be shouted out? Cat and hamster. Oh, Miss Susie, what is this one? <laughs> Dog and rabbit. Oh, rabbit, silly me. And bird. Is there any more animals? Oh, we know this one shouted out. Cow. Moo. What do we have here? Chicken. Oh, and we know this friend here. Pig and duck. Woo. Oh, that was a loud one. We have a horse <laughs> and a shouted out goat. <gasps> Whoa, you're really screaming this one. Say sheep. <laughs> oh, transportation. What is this? Shouted out car and school bus. And what's in the back here? Boat. Oh, we know this one, Miss Susie. <gasps> Trap. And <gasps> clean. Don't forget about the do do. Shout it out. What is that? Train. Excellent, everyone. <gasps> Very well done. Ooh, my ears are hurting. That was a loud one. <gasps> Miss Leslie, I hope you have something quiet after all that noise. It's not really going to be very quiet, but I think I lost my voice from shouting so loud uh, <laughs> while you were reading your book. So <clears throat> I will try not to shout this one. This is called Do Sharks Bark? So I'm going to continue to talk about the sounds that animals make. The thing that I like about this book and so many of the books that we share with you is that this one in particular really emphasizes print awareness. So there are all these skills that we're giving to our children before they learn to read, their early literacy skills. And print awareness is basically the idea that as we're reading to our children, they are starting to understand that these words on the page correspond to the the words that we're speaking. 
And in this case, you're going to see that when I lift the flap, the words are going to be in all capitals with an exclamation point. And even though our kids are really too young to learn grammar, this is something that there's actually going to go inside their brain. So when they're older and they're learning to write and they're learning to read, they're going to understand our language better. So I really like this one. Okay. So do seals sprint? Do seals spark? All I know is seals go bark. And you see how the, those letters all in capital with an exclamation, they're loud. Okay. Do dolphins cluck? Do dolphins kick? All I know is dolphins go click. I can't make a good dolphin sound click, but that sure is loud. Do gulls coo? Do gulls claw? All I know is gulls go caw! Caw! That is loud. Do polar bears sneer? Do polar bears snore? All I know is polar bears go roar. That's right. Do sharks stamp? Do sharks stomp? All I know is sharks go chomp. Be careful, you don't wanna get chomped by a shark. Do crabs flip? Do crabs flap? All I know is crabs go snap. Look out, they pinch you. And last one, do hippos hiss? Do hippos howl? All I know is hippos go growl. Good job, everybody. Miss Susie, I'm happy. Miss Jessica's happy. We're all happy. So why don't you lead us? We are all happy. So should we do a loud if you're happy and you know it? And you guys stand up, stand up if you can. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hand. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hand. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hand. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Do you think we can do all three? Okay, if you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray! If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, Miss Jess, do you have another book for us or do you think we should go to the music? What do you think? I think we could squeeze it in. What do you think? You think so, Miss Leslie? We'll squeeze it in. And since we're talking about happy, I'm so happy when I go to sleep at night and it's nice and quiet. Do you guys love that too? Well, this book is The Noisy Night by, Mar by Mac Barnett. Let's see if this building is nice and quiet when they go to sleep at night. Let's see what is going la, 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 above my head. Who would make that noise? It is a man singing opera above my head. I do not want to hear that when I'm going to sleep. What about you guys? Oh, but you know what he says? What is going la? Above my head. What could it be? Any guesses? Let's see. Oh, it's a baby cooing above my head. What does the baby hear? 
What is going above my head? Any guesses? Oh, it is a sheep speaking above my head. What is the sheep here? What is going above my head? Let's take a peek. Oh, it's cowboys laughing above my head. What are they here? What's going wah, 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 above our heads? What could it be? Oh, it is a crow squawking above our head. What is the crow here? What's going rah, rah, rah? Above my head, what could it be? It's cheerleaders are cheering above my head. I do not want to hear that when I'm going to sleep at night. What is going cha 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 above our heads? Who says cha cha cha? Oh, it's a couple dancing above our heads. What's going blah, blah, blah above our heads? Who could make that sound? It is the man trying to go to bed. Oh, he's sleepy. Go to bed. Oh, finally, it's a quiet night in that apartment building. Oh. Oh, but let's not be quiet. Oh, do you think, Miss Leslie, should we get going with clap your hands? Yes, I have lived in some very noisy apartments, so I'm very uh, happy for the quiet. But now is not the time to be quiet. We're going to play some music. We're recording this, and we post it on YouTube. So if you don't want to be uh, included, turn your video monitor off. Otherwise, clap your hands, Wiggle Worms. Here we One, go. One, two, three. Come on, Wiggle Worms. Let's get ready to clap our hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, everybody clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, everybody clap your hands. Now we're gonna stomp our feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, everybody stomp your feet. Stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, stomp your feet, everybody stomp your feet. Let's say hi to all our friends. Wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello. Wave hello, wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello. Hi everybody. Well, I know you don't like it, but now it's time for us to brush our teeth. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth. Everybody brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, everybody brush your teeth. Touch your nose, touch your nose, everybody touch your nose. Touch your nose, touch your nose, touch your sweet little nose, everybody touch your nose. All right, it's time to clap those hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands, clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap your hands.
you enjoyed our quiet and loud story time. I know we did. We look forward to seeing you on Friday. Should we end with a little open shut then? Can you get your hands out? Open shut them, open shut them them raise your hands up high open shut them open shut them time to say goodbye thanks for coming to story time have a great